Hi everyone. So today we are going to plant a clematis. So this is Happy Jack and from Proving Winners. And today I'm going to plant this beautiful clematis by one of her roses right here by the window. So I've been holding on to Happy Jack clematis for quite a while now since last year and I feel pretty bad. I thought he wasn't going to make it in this little thing, but look at him. How gorgeous is that? Putting a lot of growth. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get it done now. And I wanted to share this with you so you can, you know, follow along and see how beautifully he grows and hopefully in our garden. So Happy Jack is known to resemble a very popular clematis by the name of Jack Manny. The only thing is that it's said to have bigger blooms, more color, more of a purple color, which this one actually has. Um, flowers that are about three to five inches big and the color is very uh, plum purple and inside highlights um, a very pretty highlight of white inside coming from the throat out so yeah I think it'll be really pretty and see it interesting to see if it really is prettier than Jack Manny, which I think it is. I've seen pictures in, in other gardens of this, of this beauty and I'm really excited to see what it does. So it also grows in old wood and in, uh, in on new wood. So that means that I can, every spring, I can go ahead and cut it down, um, down to two feet. So that's really cool too, because it's really easy to take care of. It's a really easy plant to go ahead and have in your garden. So let's get going. So I'm gonna show you first where we're at. We're starting the season. So we have things that we're not sure yet if they're gonna stay here or not. But for now, I'm gonna, I know where I want this clematis. I want it to be by this beautiful rose named Brother Gatfield. Beautiful, beautiful pink flowers. So, you know, purple and pink, that's gonna just, look gorgeous and I do have some other roses here but I'm gonna move them out for now and I'm gonna have Happy Jack go ahead and make his way up Brother Gadfell and then with time we'll go ahead and put a trellis on this side of the wall by the window. I think that would look just so pretty. Before I forget, it also bloomed its bloom time is from midsummer to fall. That's a very long time, so it's a, it's a long bloomer. So let's get going and let's get him planted. So I have already picked the place that I wanted to be planted and minimum should be from a rose, it should be about a foot to three feet apart. We're working with small space gardening, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a foot apart. Okay, so Happy Jack is in and I think he will do really well right here, this clematis. It is part sun to sun. This is the west part of the house. We do get full sun, which it'll do perfect. The top clematis love to have their roots um, protected from the sun. So this will be perfect. In the top, they love to take in the sun. So I will have here um, another, I'll probably be planting another rose around here um, have something taller and then as this we have a hydrangea on the side too I think it'll do really well and have enough um, the roots will be protected from the from the really hot sun they won't be getting um, any of that harsh sun harsh sun down there so I don't know it attached itself really well to uh, to um, brother Gadfield over here this rose and I think it'll be looking beautiful and like I said with time we'll go ahead and start putting a trellis up and I'm not sure yet 
what else to add? Um, we have a couple of things that we're thinking about. But this is this will be it. More of the information, we'll make sure to put it on the screen. And you have any questions, go ahead and ask on the comments down below. So thank you very much and we will see you later. Goodbye.